Welcome, Monkey Mischief Classroom, to story time. Today's story is The Three Little Pigs. And what I want you to wor work on and think about um, for comprehension is how this story ends differently than the Three Little Pigs story we read in the classroom. So we're doing a little comparing and contrasting. I want you to think about how this story was different from the story we read in the classroom. Good luck. Okay, the three little pigs. Once upon a time, an old mother pig and her happy family fell into misfortune. And misfortune means just some bad luck. And so she sent her three little pigs out into the world to make their own way. And usually the misfortune um, means like financial misfortune. That means money. They were struggling with money. The first little pig went out into the world. He soon settled down and built himself a little house of straw. Before long, a big bad wolf came along and saw the little house of straw. He looked in the window and saw the first little pig inside. Remember the story we read in the classroom? The first little pig didn't want to spend too much time building a house, so he made the house really quickly out of straw. And we had decided in the classroom that wasn't a very smart thing to do. So listen here and see what happens next. The big bad wolf knocked on the door and called, Little pig, little pig, let me in. The first little pig cried, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled, growled the pit wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The big bad wolf found the first little pig and he gobbled him up. So this is a little different than the story we read in our classroom. This little pig got gobbled up. And gobbled up means that that pig ate, that the pig was eaten by the wolf. The second little pig went out into the world. He soon settled down and built himself a little house of sticks. Before long, the big bad wolf came along and saw the little house of sticks. He looked in the window and saw the second little pig. Again, if you remember the story that we read in the classroom, this little pig didn't want to spend too much time building a house because he wanted to play. And so he made the house out of sticks. Let's see what happens. The big bad wolf knocked on the door and called, little pig, little pig, let me in. Second little pig cried, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the big bad wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. <gasps> he found the second little pig and he gobbled him up. Uh-oh, now the second little pig has been gobbled up. Very different from our story. The third little pig went out into the world. He soon settled down and built himself a little house of bricks. Before long, the big bad wolf came along and saw the little house of bricks. He looked in the window and saw the third little pig inside. The big bad wolf knocked on the door and called, little pig, little pig, let me in. The third little pig cried, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Rawr, growled the big bad wolf. And he howled and he, and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed again. But he could not blow the house down the house of bricks. <clears throat> The big bad wolf knew he would have to be clever to catch the third little pig. Little pig, he called. I know where you could pick the sweetest turnips. Come out and I'll show you. 
No, thank you, said the po pig politely. He knew the wolf was trying to trick him. I don't like turnips. And the big bad wolf went away. This part of the story is a little bit different too. Let's see what happens. The next day, the big bad wolf came back. Little pig, he called. I'm going to the fair. Will you come with me? No, thank you, said the pig. I have no money for the fair. And the big bad wolf went away again. The next day, the big bad wolf came back once more. Little pig, he called. The best apples grow in Farmer Brown's garden. Come out and I'll show you where they are. The pig knew the big bad wolf would never leave him alone. He had a plan. I'll meet you tomorrow at five o'clock, he replied. See what happens. The next day, the pig ran out of his house at four o'clock. He ran to Farmer Brown's garden. He picked a big basket of apples and ran home again. He put a big pot on the fire to heat water for his tea. The big bad wolf came back at five o'clock. Let's see what happens. This is one clever pig. Little pig, he called. Are you ready to go to Farmer Brown's garden? I've already been and come home again, said the pig. At this, the wolf grew angry. He had tried to trick the pig three times and it had not worked. He wanted the, to eat the pig now. He got a, a running start and leaped high in the air. He landed on the roof and in a, with a loud thump, he jumped down the chimney and splash landed in the big pot of boiling hot water. That was the end of the wolf and the little pig lived happily ever after in his little brick house. The end. So the little pig ended up conquering the big bad wolf because he didn't give up. So I want you to think about how this story was different than the three little pig story we read in the classroom. Good luck.